Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and it's, it's, um, it's looking uh, much better than it has. <laughs> this back and forth energy kind of sucks. But this is looking really good. I'm seeing victory and blessings and all kinds of cool stuff here for you, uh, Pisces. It's awesome. Now, the only thing that I see here that kind of like is uh, a little confusing to me, but I mean, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest here, Pisces. But I see Othala here. It's the first rune, and it's in reverse. And Othala usually talks about the family, someone in the family, someone you consider in the family, or someone someone to that nature. Doesn't necessarily have to be blood family, but it could just be someone, could be someone that you consider family. And it's next to Pertho over here in reverse. So I'm feeling that you're going to find out something unpleasant. Um, this is an unpleasant realization. Um, that you're going to find out. But the good news about this is, Pisces, and it kind of doesn't make really much sense to me, but this is what the runes are saying, is that this is going to be a blessing, all right? So whatever this is here, it's kind of like, it, it's it's a blessing. It's next to Gabo. Gabo is blessings and gifts. Um, and some of you... Uh, may actually be traveling. I see right all right here in the upright. So this is indicating uh, possible travel. And it's a good time to travel. And with it upright, you can rest assured that you're going to get to your destination in one piece. All right. So you've got some sort of a victory here. This is Canaz. This is some sort of a victory. Uh, that has come your way and it's really it's really freaking awesome because you have uh, digas over here okay and this is not only transformation um, but it's also telling you to keep your light on and your options open because a lot of wonderful opportunities are coming your way all right so, this, I mean, you can't really, I mean, this is, you know, it's, it, it keeps getting better, you know. And then uh, you have, uh, th this is the death rune right here. So we've been through a rebirth. This is a rebirth, Pisces. Some sort of rebirth, all right. And the sun is shining. This is the sun, the solo. The sun is shining. <laughs> and you've got two light. You've got light rune here and a light rune here so you're gonna find you're gonna find something something's coming to light over here about this family member um but it's gonna benefit you it's gonna definitely benefit you all right and uh with menez here in, in the middle of the read i, I kind of also feel that you know maybe some of you have been spending uh you know time alone and you know hermit mode type of deal. This is kind of like, reminds me of the hermit card. <laughs> All right. So it looks really promising. You know, I, I see the Queen of Pentacles, you know, the Queen of Pentacles um, is a is mother, is a mo motherly love, you know. And for some of you, maybe, uh, you know, you're finding something out about this family member and it's going to be a blessing because you're going to be able to stop them or whatever what they're up to okay so this could be like you know um you could be like a parent you know and you find out your kid is playing with matches or something like that and you catch them that's good that's a blessing to catch their little butts when they do stuff like that so it could be something like that pisces all right and um and then we have uh the knight of wands here the knight of wands is in reverse and this is like you've got fire under your feet. You've got a really, really good idea. You, you just want to, what this is talking about, Pisces, is, is a lot of energy is built up in you. All right? 
and you're not really too sure on how to channel it. Um, so, uh, you know, it's really powerful. And, you know, you know, Pisces, I can feel that power too. I can feel the power building up in me too. It's, it, it's just kind of building. But this is, this is good. And then with the Fool right here, you know, also, you know, the Knight of Wands wants to be really creative. You know, you've just got that creative spark under you. But the Fool here is just saying to take a leap of faith and trust the universe, all right? This is you trusting the universe because you've got some really good opportunities that are coming your way. All right. The old is the old. See, there's the death rune right there. We've been through a rebirth. All right. So it's looking really good. Let's get you a, an oracle card here, Pisces. Oh, by the way, you guys, I am offering uh, private readings. If you're interested, uh, I'll leave an email link in the description of the, of the video. Let's see what's going on here with Pisces. Ah, that one wanted to come out. <clears throat> this here the arrow the arrow let's see what that's about this is uh, the mystic shaman oracle aren't they cool looking cards wow isn't that a trip you know yesterday we got number two and the day before that we got number one and now we've got number three. That's, that's kind of tripping me out. The arrow. When the arrow zings through the air, it's inviting you to pay attention and signifying that you are about to, to make your mark in some aspect of your life. It illuminates the moment of contact when you know that your desires and intentions have traveled on the wind and landed in perfect place for your highest good. Trust that your job is not, is not to be relaxed yet focused, keeping your eye on the prize yet realizing your intention with full expectation that it will land as it's supposed to. Don't worry about how or the exact form. This is not a time to interfere with the manner in which the arrow flies. <clears throat> it will make its mark and you will have cause to celebrate. Wow, that's a deep card. And you know, I think that has to do with this full card here. It's like you're 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 going for something great, something wonderful, something great. This is like the the Knight of Wands. It's talking about you know having the energy, knowing something great is there. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's get you a Moonology card. Hope you guys are having a good day, afternoon, or evening. And I'm pretty sure that you are because. I mean, uh, this is a much better reading than the past couple of days. I don't like Fehu in reverse. It sucks. <laughs> uh. New Moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Okay, Pisces. So just trust the universe. All will, all will be well. You got the fool too. And that's like trusting the universe as well. So there you have it. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, bye for now, Pisces.